Hello students, welcome to Chem is Try. Today, we'll be talking about redox reactions. A redox reaction is a reaction in which both oxidation and reduction occur at the same time. Oxidation, reduction occurring at the same time. But what is oxidation? What does it mean? What is reduction? What does that one to mean? Uh, now, we are going to define oxidation and reduction in about three different ways. There are other ways, but I would like to focus on three ways. Now, the first one is redox in terms of oxygen transfer. Now, we know the atom oxygen. Mm -hmm. Now, we are going to transfer oxygen from one substance to another. Now, we are going to learn how oxidation and reduction will be used to describe this transfer of oxygen from one substance to another. Oxidation is the addition of oxygen to a substance. So we have a substance, then we add oxygen to it. Now the process of adding oxygen to that substance is what we term as oxidation. Reduction is the removal of oxygen from a substance. So we have a substance, it has oxygen, then we take the oxygen from that substance. And that process is what we term as reduction. So, let's see something. Supposing we have an atom A and an atom B. This atom A, atom B. Now, atom A has oxygen and decides to give the oxygen to atom B. Now, adding oxygen to atom B means atom B is undergoing oxidation because we are adding oxygen to B. But where did the oxygen come from? It was removed from A and given to B. So A is undergoing reduction because we are removing oxygen from A. Now, most of the times we'll be giving chemical equations, balanced chemical equations, and you'll be asked to show which of the substances undergoing oxidation, and which of the substances is undergoing reduction. When that happens, what should we do? Now remember, there are two different scenarios here. In the first scenario, only one substance has the oxygen. The other one has no oxygen. So at the reactant side, you will see one substance having oxygen and another one not having any oxygen. But at the product side, there will be a change. The one without oxygen will now have oxygen. That means oxygen has been added to it. Where did oxygen come from? It came from the one that had oxygen. So we took the oxygen from the one who had it. Now, in the second scenario, you realize both substances at the reactant side have oxygen. But when you go to the product side, you realize that one's oxygen will reduce and another one's oxygen will increase. So the one whose oxygen reduced, it definitely means its oxygen has been removed and given to the one whose oxygen increased. So that one has gained or oxygen, oxygen has been added to it. These are the two scenarios we have. Now let's look at these examples and see if we'll be able to identify the oxidation and the reduction in the reactions. Now in the first example, we have H2O for water combining with copper to produce copper 2 oxide and hydrogen gas. Now, you realize that at the reactant side, water has oxygen. So we have H2O. So oxygen is attached to hydrogen here. Copper is alone. It has no oxygen. 
But let's check the product side. You realize now, copper is having oxygen and the hydrogen has no oxygen. What does it mean? Now, looking here, we can say that oxygen has been removed from this substance. So, oxygen has been removed from this substance. Now, when we check these two, we can say that oxygen has been added to the copper. These are the things we can see from the chemical equation. But how do we explain this, or how do we describe this one using the terms oxidation and reduction? Remember, we said oxidation is the addition of oxygen to a substance. So we are adding oxygen to copper over here. Copper had no oxygen, and we added oxygen to it. So this addition of oxygen to copper is called the oxidation part of the reaction the oxidation part of the reaction now oxygen was removed from here so you realize hydrogen now has no oxygen attached to it so since oxygen has been removed from H2O we can say that is the reduction part of the reaction because reduction is the removal of oxygen from a substance very cool huh Let's look at the second example. In the second example, you realize at the reactant side, we have oxygen attached to ion and oxygen attached to carbon. So both species or both substances at the reactant side have oxygen. But there was a change. Let's check the products. At the product side, you realize iron no longer has oxygen. But the oxygen found in carbon was one, but now it is two. So it has increased. That means we have added oxygen to it. So here to there, we have added, we have added oxygen. Then from here to there, we have removed oxygen. Now, the chemical term used to define or to describe addition of oxygen, we know as oxidation. And the term used to describe the removal of oxygen is reduction. So, with this in mind, equation we are given whereby there's a transfer of oxygen from one substance to another we should be able to identify which one is undergoing oxidation and which one is undergoing reduction we have the last question over here please try your hands on it and let's see now over here you realize copper had oxygen carbon also had oxygen but over here, the product side, copper has no oxygen. And the oxygen that carbon had has increased. So we can say that from copper 2 oxide to copper, oxygen has been removed. Then from carbon 2 oxide to carbon 4 oxide, we can say that oxygen has been added. The chemical term for the addition of oxygen is what we call oxidation. Then oxygen being removed is also called reduction.